guys, it's Erin, aka Tina Swami. Um, we're going to be doing a video today about my choices, uh, my choice actually of uh, making the decision to have the weight loss surgery and um, go over what the steps are, pre-op is what we call it, and um, hope you guys uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up at the end if you like it, and make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So let's get into it. <music> decided to even think about having weight loss surgery was uh, over five years ago at least. My sister-in-law um, had gastric bypass. Um, I know it's less than 10 years, but over five years. So that's when I decided, um, that's when I was thinking about it. So um, time went on, I was kind of embarrassed to ask my doctor, so I didn't ask. And time went on, years went on, I was wasting my life away being overweight and embarrassed. Um, and then a, a year ago, so October of 2015, I have a friend that actually lives like a block away from me, and she was having the surgery. And then I got to thinking again, I really want to have this surgery, I really want to change my life so that I could have a longer life and be off medication. So um, she had the surgery, and I saw how amazing it was for her. And so in March of 2016, I decided to get brave, and I went to a doctor's appointment for something else, but I told myself I was going to ask my doctor. So I asked my doctor about it, and um, uh, he gave me a referral to the program and explained to me that it's a six-month program because the insurance wants to make sure that this is something you're going to succeed in and something that you're really going to put your all into. So, um, March is when it started. Um, I got, to show you, all this paperwork here, all of this given to me um, with the information on it. And I know you won't be able to read this, but this paperwork right here, and it shows you um, when the, the dates start for the seminars because you are required to, I don't know, I think it says it on here, but you are required to go to these seminars in order to be approved for the surgery. So the first seminar was April 9th, and I right away went to that seminar. Um, and then a support group. Um, also, you're required to go to one support group, um, one mandatory, one mandatory uh, seminar, which explains to you everything about weight loss surgery. Um, and then there was also another, oh, a nutrition meeting. You had to go to mandatory, those three classes. And then the, um, the seminar, it goes over like um, what surgeries are options as far as gastric bypass, uh, sleeve gastric gastrectomy, I believe it's called. We call it VSG for short. It's just so much easier to say that. So in that seminar, they give you all kinds of, I'll show you. Um, they give you this booklet here. Surgical Weight Loss Program Bariatric Preoperative Dietitian Book right here. And this book has got everything in it. It goes step by step of like your diet you have to go through during and after. It tells you uh, what to eat. Um, it tells you the causes of um, different things that will happen if you don't follow the rules as far as um, what to eat pre-op and after. It tells you what you need to stop doing, such as smoking, drinking soda, anything carbonated, um, sugar, any of that stuff. My dog here is trying to mess up my setup here. Um, this little peanut. So it goes through all that information. Uh, it's very informative. Uh, if you take notes, they show you exactly how the uh, surgeries are done, so you have to actually choose or talk with the surgeon and um, see what he thinks is best for you. Um, the support groups are amazing. So with all that information that I was given, uh, it's a big commitment and they want to make sure that you are ready for it. So then after that, after you go through all those classes, they, I think I'll have it right here, but um, they have to... Uh, you have to go through all these tests. So this is one of them, the EKG. 
Uh, here's the information. Uh, and if you get one of those, and then you have to get all the weigh-ins on the back here, six months worth. And then, oh, here we go. So, you have to get EKG, a chest x-ray, lab work, a whole bunch of lab work. You have to get a test called H. Pyler, I'm not sure how you say it, uh, test, uh, endoscopy. Uh, for women, you have to get a pap smear within the last year. Uh, mammogram if, if your age is, is uh, under or over 40. Two years of uh, uh, medical information. So from your doctor, um, your regular doctor, I, actually I think it was five years. You have to get five years worth of notes from your doctor. Um, that either stated um, all your attempts at weight loss, they want to know every and anything that you've ever done to attempt to lose weight. They want to know all your medical history, um, they want to know your food diaries, I mean they ask you any and everything like your whole life, but it's important so that you can go, um, go through the surgery and they know that you are going to be healthy enough for it. So that's that stuff. And then, um, I'm trying to think what else I have to go through. Um, I have all my notes and stuff here. So after that, um, that started in April. So I did all the testing. I think it took me a couple months to get all that stuff done. And then um, you had to have a psych evaluation. And that took me a long time because I had to find a doctor. That specific psychologists are uh, trained in bariatric evaluations. And so you had to find one that's under your insurance goal. Not so lucky for me. Nobody under my insurance did those. So I did have to pay out of pocket for that. And I believe it was 100 but then they changed the price uh, a couple days after I scheduled mine. So I went to 200 So it was $200. So I saved up for that. And then we got that done, which was a little nerve-wracking. But actually, it wasn't that bad. They just ask you questions about how you try to lose weight. Make sure you're uh, psychologically okay to go through with it and your mind is going to be okay to uh, proceed with this because your mind does play a little bit of tricks on you with uh, the food and stuff. So um, then after that, you go and see the nutritionist at the um, office, the surgeon's office. You have a consult with the surgeon. They decide at that time which procedure would be best for you. I chose VSG, the sleeve, because, oh my god, she's falling asleep. <laughs> um, I chose sleep because the gastric bypass, everything is rerouted, your intestines and bowel and all that stuff is rerouted, and that was just too much for me. I thought with the sleeve, which the sleeve, they cut 85% of your stomach out and make this long little tube pouch um, so that you are less hungry and you get full faster. So I chose that because that was a lot less crazy for me than going through all that rerouting and stuff that moving or stuff that it just scared me. Um, that's just my thought and I'm a paranoid person so I went with the easier of the two. So they decided if that's a good fit for you and, um, and so I chose to sleep and the doctor agreed that that was okay for me. I think with the gastric bypass, uh, people who choose that one have an extreme amount of weight on choose and that one's a better one for them. With the sleep for me, i probably say at least about my starting weight was 293 is my highest, I believe, and when I went in to start this process, I think I was 272 maybe, so um, I only have about 100 pounds, maybe more than that to lose, so that was a better fit for me. So after you go to a few different nutritionist appointments, the surgeon appointment, and then you see the psych consult, and I there was another appointment in between there. Maybe not. I'm not sure. But um, it took about from March until oh, I have my paper that I got the approval. It was. I got my approval on August 22nd. So it took from March until August to get approved. And it took about from the time that I finished all the testing and everything, I think it took about three to four weeks before my insurance got back to approving it, only because things got lost and it didn't quite get uh, approved in time. So I was nervous, but um, I got approved. And um, as long as you go through all the testing and do everything that you're supposed to do, and the only thing I couldn't do was I couldn't gain any weight during this process. 
So, um, I got approved on the 22nd. I told the office right away. Uh, they didn't have any openings until October 5th. So, I had to wait um, a little over a month, which was uh, crazy. But I was so excited. <laughs> I cried. Um, I just couldn't believe what was happening. And it was just the best decision ever. So, um, after uh, I got approved, uh, they scheduled the appointment. You have to have two weeks prior to surgery, you have to go and get blood work done so they can make sure all your levels and stuff are good before you have surgery. And um, I did that. And then you start a two week liquid diet, which was so much fun. So, uh, protein shakes, and um, I think the uh, it was two week liquid diet, and then uh, I think the day before it was clear liquid only. Um, so it's just broth, low sodium broth, uh, protein shakes, and your vitamins. That was another thing. Uh, you had to, uh, at your last nutrition appointment, which was right before they sent off, uh, no, it was uh, like a month before my surgery, you have one last appointment and you go in and you have to get my surgeon, who is Dr. Islami, who's in Folsom, um, through Dignity. Um, he required that you purchase the protein shakes from him as well as the vitamins. So it was $35 for the bariatric fusion vitamins. Um, and then the rest of it was three, three large um, containers of shake, which was terrible tasting. <laughs> I think it's called um, bariatric fusion or advantage or something like that. Oh, it was terrible. And I thought I was doing good with like mint chip flavor and stuff like that, but they tasted awful. So anyhow, um, so you have to purchase, I had to purchase those from them, so the total was like $185. Insane. But now I um, buy the ones at the store, so it's a lot cheaper. So um, after you go to the appointment, you get the shapes, you get everything ready to go. You have a two-week liquid pre-op um, diet. I think I lost like 15 pounds during those two weeks, which was great because I wanted to be as close to 250 as possible. Um, going into surgery, and on surgery day, which was October 5th, I was 256. So, yeah, so up to the surgery, I believe I had to be there at 5 or 5.30. Um, Gary, which is my other half, he took, um, took me to my surgery. It was all the way in South Sac at Dignity, super far. Uh, we drove over there, and we got there at 5.30. I was starving because you can't eat anything. My mouth was dry. You couldn't have gum. My breath was terrible. Um, all those things. Uh, but it was so worth it. So we get to the um, hospital, and I think my surgery was at like 9.30, 9 or 9.30. So they pick you up um, to all the um, you know, blood pressure, and they put an IV in. They have to give you blood thinners on your stomach um, to make sure you don't get any blood clots. Um, they put the things on your legs so you don't get blood clots. They get you all ready to go prep and wash your stomach. Oh, speaking of, the night you, two nights before, you have to wash yourself in this special antiseptic type soap stuff all over your stomach. And then you have to do it um, the day of also. So, um, yeah. Then, um, so at surgery, um, they come in, they ask you a million questions, they get you all ready to go. Um, my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law, the one that had the gastric bypass, they showed up there as well. Um, I thought something really cool. One of the nurses that took me back actually had the surgery as well, the same surgery I had to sleep. And so she was telling me all these amazing things, and then they put you to sleep. And that's it. <laughs> so I think that I will stop it there, and then my next video will be about from waking up from surgery and on uh, the next few days or so after that. So um, just a little information, what it's like pre-op and stuff like that. Uh, most amazing decision I've ever made. I am down to 210. My weight loss has been pretty slow the last month or so, but. Um, it was completely worth it. So I went from 293 down to 210, um, almost a year. So since I started the whole process, so it's been the best decision of my life. The only thing I regret is not doing it sooner. Oh, that's it.
that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, let me know, message me, all my social medias on the front of my uh, YouTube channel. And I will see you guys next Friday. Make sure you um, give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you like the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.